Well, good morning or good afternoon, Facebook land. It's your host, Jay Kinder, with my good friend, James J. Barnes. How you doing, my good friend? It's been it's been a little while since I've seen you, but uh, it's such yeah. a familiar face, and I'm I'm really happy to be. Actually, I'm honored to be on here with you, and um, you know, announcing your move to EXP Realty and um, our new yeah. partnership. Uh, are you having fun yet? It's funny because I know a lot of people are in the same situation where they're like, "Man, I haven't had this much fun, you know, pretty much since I got licensed." I mean. <laughs> kind of just like rejuvenated me again to be able to go out and talk to people about the opportunity. So it's been, it's been amazing. It really has it's been a lot of fun. Right. It's funny. It's, it's, what's funny to me is I was making, I have had this conversation on the face to face podcast, me and Michael recorded one earlier this week. And we were, we were just talking about like, you know, how valuable um, people that people with experience are. And mm -hmm. you're certainly one of those that has a ton of experience yeah. and, been and you know you've been at a Keller Williams, you've been at, at Remax, you went independent. Um, you know you, you've had all these different experiences, and you know I think you know sometimes we get so dead set on what we think our goal is and build yeah. a team or you know expansion or whatever it is, right? Like yeah. the new shiny object of what we think we're going to build, and you know and we maybe don't look quite as close at at people that have been doing it for a long time and mm -hmm. why they're all doing something different now. Right. <laughs> you know, and yeah. and I think that's, a, that's something that. When you look at EXP and you look at the tremendous number of of really intelligent individuals that have been really successful, all moving to EXP, you you really should look closer, like really look closer. And uh, you know we say that all the time, but I think I think some people just discount it. I don't know, but I think it's important. And um, why don't you tell us your story? Uh, tell us kind of you know your story of real estate and yeah. your background and um, and how you kind of came to this decision and what what you're most excited about. Yeah, man. So, um, you know, I kind of got started. It seems like I'm old, man. Like eight, it's been, really been 18 years, you know, so I kind of started in the game as an investor. So buying, you know, back in the day, early, late 90s, early 2000, uh, I wanted to be an investor, have, you know, 50 rental properties. That's kind of what really got me into it. But uh, after I got tenants, I hated all of them. <laughs> I changed my mind. That's right. It's uh, not such a. It's not really passive income, is it? <laughs> right. Yeah. There's another passive. Passive about tenants. Uh, even if you hire a property management company. But anyway, uh, that's kind of what got me started. But yeah, I ended up getting uh, getting licensed. I was in mil military in San Antonio. Uh, got licensed right before I got out of the military in uh, 2004, and I actually started with a home builder. That's kind of how it really got me started. So I worked for a big home builder there. Got licensed the same year, and just. Uh, couple years into it, I was kind of tiptoeing and then I just went full blast into real estate uh, as an agent. I started building my team uh, probably about 08, give or take here. And, and I got to give a quick shout out, Jay, because the reason I came across you, Jeff Willems on Arizona. All right, he has no clue who I am. He is the yeah. reason I found out about you. Well, this don't tell him he's gonna, he's gonna be he's gonna be bragging about that for the rest of the rest of the week. Yeah, and he said like he's the reason I felt I came across you. This is years ago, so yep. I started watching videos of you and kind of started following you. Probably oh eight oh nine, and then two thousand ten is when uh, and went to EGS or so, uh, Bro Summer back in the day. Yeah, you went to the two thousand ten EGS. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, was, that was an all star lineup. Some oh, of the. Yeah agents yeah. in the world that had not become the top agents in the world yet were in that event. It, it, it was a really an all-star cast, a lot of great people. Yeah. Really spoke, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, started doing that and then started coaching with you guys probably about 2010, 2011 is when I started coaching with you guys. And at that point, uh, I started with uh, Best Home GMAC, moved over to Remax, went back to Best Homes GMAC. Oh, tell me. OK, look, you got to tell me more. So so yeah. you made a move like moving. Like it's not just like, you know, you know, it's not just like driving down the road. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Office. Like, you have to change your signs. I mean, you made a, you made a real estate move. Then you moved back. So what yeah. what were you looking to move for? And then why did you move back? So the reason I initially moved because I wanted to build a team. And right. That, that brokers, you know, some brokers is a little funny about when you start wanting to build a team. I mean, I'm not going to name yep. names. There's brokers that don't really want you to have a team. Right. Not team friendly. <laughs> Yeah. So that's what caused me to move to Remax. And yeah. I started building a team there. I went back because the brokerage at GMAC actually changed up. So I went from GMAC to Real Living, which still exists, I believe. Right. Yep. yep. Um, and so they allowed they wanted me to come back because I was one of the top producers there at that time. So I went back, started building my team there. I uh, started coaching with you and Mike. And like you guys done for a lot of people, I ended up going independent. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, well, when you're yeah. around those guys and around you guys, I mean, you just that was the better yeah. option, right? Yeah, I mean, everybody wants to do it. You know, uh, I'm glad I did it. I'll never do it again, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned a lot. I learned a ton. Right. Uh, one of the biggest things, like, and I told Mike this last week, a couple of weeks ago, when I saw him, I said the, the biggest thing that I learned when I when I started coming around. Uh, you, Mike, and all the people that you guys will put in the same room at these growth summits. It, you know, the best analogy I can give people is like when you're in high school, you're playing basketball and you're really good in your area. Mm -hmm. And then you go outside your area and you start playing other schools or you go to like an AAU and you're like, shit, <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> it's that whole nother level. Yeah, it is. It is. And that is what. That's what those growth summers, you get yourself in a room around these high producing, just completely different thinking guys. And then, you know, back then, you know, of course, we used to go all go, go, all, all go back home and, you know, right. kind of do the thing. And then we do it again next year. But the mentality is just such a huge thing and just thinking much bigger right. than I was before I started being around these guys. So. Um, so anyway. That was uh, 2010, 2011, started coaching with you guys. 2012 was the best year. I started just kind of taking off. So you guys, when I started working with you guys, basically my, my business kind of, it, it doubled, literally. It doubled. Um, and so I was on a really, really uh, great projection here. And then I moved. Oh, I moved. So uh, I was in San Antonio. Uh, my wife had a great opportunity, but that opportunity required us to move to Houston. So right. we moved back in 2013, end of 13, basically first part of 14, kind of moved. And it was hard. I mean, it was really hard moving, um, having to start in a brand new market. And so what I did, I actually worked for a home builder for the first few years I was in Houston. Went kind of defaulted back to doing right. that and drove me nuts the whole time. Whole, right. whole time. Because uh, a lot of people in Houston don't know me as a realtor. Like they, they right. just think I work for a builder and they don't understand that you know now i'm not bragging but i've sold a lot of homes <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right right and so i was almost like a coach honestly so a lot of the roaches that i would talk to uh even working for the building you know i would kind of give them information give them strategies to use to help really bump you know increase their business so right. it was good you know it, everything happens for a reason i don't regret it um i just believe everything happens for a reason timing wise and so came to exp Earlier this year, uh, the funny thing is, like a lot of people, I heard about EXP years ago. Right. I needed absolutely no mind. No mind. Yep. yep. Kicking myself like a lot of us are, like now. Right. Um, but, you know, I came across, I started seeing a lot of uh, EXP Facebook lives, of course, during the course of this year. And uh, of course, when you and Mike, honestly, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, when you and Mike start looking at something and you make a change, my ears perk up. It's like, okay, what are they doing? Right. I like the same thing, you know, uh, you see all these break go, all these big agents moving over. It's like, I need to pay attention and see. Right. What this is. So that's kind of what led me to EXP, man. And it's been awesome. It really has the uh, the way that Glenn is so forward thinking. It's, oh. it's so smart. I it's say it all the time. He, the guy can see around corners. He, yeah. he, can see, he can see around the corner the things that other people can't see. Yeah. And um, um, we're, we're lucky to have him uh, as the steward of the ship. That's for Absolutely. sure. Yeah, um, you know, you you said something um, about uh, that reminded me of something I learned a long time ago, and I'm curious if everybody's watching has had the same experience. Is you know sometimes sometimes you know like where I came from, I graduated. I always joke about it, but I graduated. You know, I graduated in the top 25 of my class, but there was only 36 of us, right? <laughs> so a lot, I went to. I'm not even from a lot, and I'm from Walters, Oklahoma, which is okay. you know, a population about 1600, I think, and. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that, you know, that, you know, where I came from, you know, you know, I didn't have these big goals, you know, you know, and, and, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know. Right. So all I knew was kind of what was around me. And I was at my dad's coal banker and, you know, nobody really was producing that much. There was a couple agents in town that were, that were pretty good producers and stuff, but there wasn't anybody selling 500 homes a year. That's for sure. Right. Right. And so I wasn't thinking big like that, but I'll never forget the first event that I went to and I was, and, and somebody was doing like two or 300 transactions. And I'm like, it was 200 and something transactions right. in the world. And I, I had never been in a room. I just never had been in the room with people right. that all thought way bigger than I did. And yeah. um, I remember sitting next to a guy and the guy was, um, I didn't even know the guy's name. He was like two people down from me and sitting there down the road. He gets up and goes to the microphone and said, you know, and said something about how he was doing 400 and something transactions. 
And in a year, I'm looking at this guy going, what? I mean, like, right. I mean, this is unbelievable to me. And yeah. since then, I, you know, I've always, I've always felt like once, you know, once you, once you get stretched, your mind yeah. gets stretched to a certain point, it never goes back to thinking small again. Like, you know, it's to like thinking bigger. Yeah. Um, which, you know, this is, you know, there's more than, it's not, it's just, 10X didn't originate with Grant Cardone. 10X originated with a guy by the name of Dan, Dan Sullivan. Yeah. And Dan, Dan Sullivan has been teaching the 10X, you know, the 10X mindset and the 10X principle of thinking 10X bigger. Um, and it, it opens up the gate of the mind to so much more um, in terms of how, you know, how you might be able to accomplish that goal and yeah. you things a lot differently. Um, but I think it's extremely valuable. So I don't know if anybody else is, um, has experienced this watching this, um, being around you know, the, the value of being around people um, that think, just think at another level and how that really, I always use the terminology when I used to get into these different masterminds and stuff that we do. Um, you know, and not, not the ones that we're doing now, but the masterminds that we used to pay to be a part of. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, I was, you know, I always try to be the dumbest guy in the room yeah, and get sucked up to the top. Like, you know, they just, you know, you, they just bring you to, up to their level and in, in their way of thinking and their way of, of getting things done and moving around problems and how they, you know, how they process things. And, it's super valuable. So I just yeah. wanted to make a point that this company and what EXP is doing is it is a making, not only is it just putting the, the all of us in the room together, yeah. but it's putting us in a, in the room together in alignment where it makes sense for me to, to invest my time helping you get to that next level and think bigger and do bigger. And we do it together as uh-huh. a part of the company. And that's what's, that's what, that's all I've ever wanted was just how do we work together and, um, you know, put our fires together and make one big fire um, and, and build something that we're all, you know, and we all have a stake in the outcome, which is just yeah. a really cool business model. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, it's, 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 you know, when we do these events, like in the past, we would always, 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 you know, when we're at the event, it's all good. And, you know, honestly, when we, when we go to these growth summits, I think once you build relationships with people, even outside of coaching, I felt like I could reach out to somebody, even if, you know, even though we right. weren't necessarily from the same company. It's just the culture that you guys started back in the day, you know? Right. So I could reach out to somebody and say, hey, I saw you doing, you know, like Brent Gold, for example, with the open house that's back in right. the day. Yeah. Uh, all these people, I could probably still reach out to them back then. Yep. They would help me, but, you know, it's probably a limit to how much they would really help me. <laughs> right. Right. Now, everybody's just like, what do you need? You know, it's just, it's amazing how he's created this culture. Um, and obviously we all benefit from it, but it's just, it's just so cool to just to be able to, you know, go to workplace and, Hey, I got this, this, this is going on. Anybody got a, got a question or can, can anybody help me? And bam, you know, within minutes, you got I, I mean, I'm going to talk directly to you that are not in the XP at the moment, but we're, you're watching this for whatever reason or you're yeah. thinking about it. You just can't possibly know what we're talking about when we talk yeah. about collaboration and, yeah. and Facebook workplace until you've experienced it. Yeah. And it's the number one thing, I probably say it now, you're probably hearing me say it for the third time if you've been watching a bunch of these for sure, but yeah. it, there's, there's it, you have the resources at your fingertips. And, yeah. and, and you know, I've, I've used this before, the, you know, the Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger talk about compensation drives behavior and compensation yeah. alignment and that that's the number one number one driver in in um, in any business model is the alignment of compensation of the people and and it really you know when you when you really think about it it seems insignificant right like it's not like I'm going to make a lot of money off of you you know what I'm saying like that's no that's not that's not you know it's yeah. not how I'm even thinking about it but yeah. um but it does change the behavior enough that you know that we're 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 going to put aside the time we're going to respond to an email there I mean I try not to let any messages any messenger messages I don't care who it is yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, but there's been times in my life where, well, I got meetings all day. I'm managing people and I got all these things I'm doing that yeah. I may or may not be able to get back to you. Um, and that doesn't happen to me today because, yeah. you know, my focus is now on serving everyone, you know, in EXP, um, and being a servant, um, more so than e- even I was before because I had to manage more people to, you know, to Absolutely. do what we do. So yeah, that's yeah. because you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter where you live, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you can be able to just to be able to help people. And I'm a coach. I'm a, I enjoy coaching and helping other agents. I really do. Yeah. Um, and so this platform that Glenn has created for us, it, it's just it opens the door so much, man. I mean, it's not just about Houston anymore uh, it, for all of us. You know, it, it just doesn't matter. So we're able to add value to people and help them build their business. And then, you know, you add just the, the component of wealth. That's just the thing about it. 
Uh, I, every time I go talk to somebody now, I'm like, listen, this is so much more than just your GCI. <laughs> okay. This is beyond just your GCI. Uh, this is long term thinking, which never existed for us anymore. I mean, it, it's never existed before. Uh, and so what Glenn's done, you know, this is long term. Like, this is just, it's not just what's my commission split. Right. right. This is beyond that. So every time I talk to people, that's why I say, listen, it's beyond commission split, guys. All right, this is this is something that's not existed before. Uh, and now we have this opportunity to be able to not just worry about what a split is or what the trend. This is beyond that. And I love right. that. And so it's, I get real passionate when I go talk. Like yesterday, I went to talk to a school, uh, the school real estate school here locally. And I tell these guys the same thing, like because they're asking, well, what is the split? I'm like, listen, you guys don't worry about the split. <laughs> this is another this is a completely different business model than what you're used to. Right. What you've heard of. And so right. these guys have never had a license, so they don't know anything. At they, don't this know. they don't have no idea what they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been great, man. Just to talk. I just talked to them yesterday. And uh, every time I talk to an agent, I'm like, listen, don't worry about commission splits right now. There's something It's a bigger. This is a bigger picture right now. Uh, and for some people, that it's new. So they're not used to, it, you know, and, yeah. and that's why a lot of people are kind of like, I'm not sure they're hesitating. It didn't take me long. Like as soon as I saw it. And I wish somebody would explain it to me, you know, two years ago, really sat me down. Soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, my goodness, sign me. Like, I'm on board. It didn't yeah. take me long. Yeah. Well, that's because we've been in this business a while, right? Like, you can oh, see the gray, the gray and the beard coming in real strong. <laughs> I, I had a full head of hair 10 years ago. Dude. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think you, I, I think most of us, I was, I, I've had just quite a few meetings in the last couple of weeks where, Every, it seems like everybody I talked to that got into real estate kind of accidentally got into real estate. Right. And that's been, you know, yeah. been kind of the theme, I think, for most of the people I've ever met. But, yeah. um, you know, you kind of just end up in real estate and you don't yeah. think, well, I'm going to be doing this 20 years from now. Am I, right. doing, am I building an asset? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's where I think, um, you know, I think that if you're truthful with yourself and you take your, your I'm building my own company filter off or your I'm building my big team filter yeah. off and you really look at. What's the value of what it is that you're building? You spend your whole life building this and people yeah. that love you and, and um, you know, a business that's, you know, that's that's very fruitful for you and, and has a nice income, um, but has no no exit value. No, there's yeah. no there's no asset there. And, um, you know, that was the thing that, you know, that, you know, you can you know, you can hope that someone's going to come along and, and make an offer, but then do the math right on what that would even look like. Um, and, you know, they're buying you with your own money. They're buying you uh, with, you know, the, you know, they're asking you to stay on for two years, paying you two years, maybe three years, um, yeah. you know, EBITDA. And, um, you know, that's not, you know, you're, they're basically buying you with your own money. There's, you know, there's no real, and nobody's going to retire. Like, for instance, I mean, I sold my, my, my business in Lawton to the guys that run it now. And um, mainly because I just didn't have the time to invest, you know, and, and, you know, managing and owning it. Um, and, and it was, you know, it was either going to make money or lose money. It wasn't going to make me wealthy. Yeah. So I sold it to him for, you know, 350,000. And, you know, we're not talking now. Oh, I couldn't retire on that. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, that was, you know, that was a, you know, a 10, 12, what, how many ever years I was there, 12 years, 13 years, something like that of my life, I spent building a very successful business that I basically, you know, sold for, for, you know, well, you know, again, a couple, couple, um, yeah. years worth of profits yeah. so um you know that's you know that's basically you know one of the opportunities so what what i mean what are you most excited about i mean in terms of you know building and i know you love coaching and yeah. and i'm with you on that i think anybody that that has the opportunity to sit down with you and learn from you you've done it before right yeah. like you know there's just a, um you know it's there's a proven repeatable system and and if you can learn what other people have done to be successful um you know then you can you know you just basically be a good modeler and do exactly what they did so, you know, people can come to you and, and um, you have now an incentive to help them. Whereas, you know, you would have to pay us, you know, $1,300 a month for coaching. Right. Um, there's really an incentive now for people to um, to join you at EXP and, and you can help them with growing their business. Is that how you're yeah. seeing the, the opportunity? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the the because, again, it's no longer about locale where you live now. You know, now you can just kind of branch out. And, and this is the everybody's going to connect with different people. Right. So you go, I got, it's just, everybody's going to connect differently. Uh, my experience is a little different than everybody else's. You know, we've all been around, a lot of us have been around for a while, but you know, everybody's going to connect differently. So the way I explain something, you know, may connect with somebody a little bit different. So the, the ability to be able to take this outside of Houston and go, you know, I'm from Virginia. So uh, I know a lot of people there, um, 
So this is just that ability to be able to go beyond the local market is just it's, it's amazing. You know, I've got some, I got people in Mexico right now. I got some friends that live over there um, that I've already reached out to. So from that perspective, the opportunity, I mean, it's just it literally it is yeah. limitless. You know, it it's, is. It's just, yeah, we're, we're just in the U.S. and Canada and we're maybe 14,000 agents strong. Yeah. Um, and we are just I mean, we ain't even scratched the surface. Yeah. I mean, it's. I can't wait, you know, to, to take this across, you know, across, uh, across the ocean into new markets and new countries. I mean, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be an awful lot of fun. It's really, truly disruptive. Um, it really is. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I mean, it's, it's new, it's never been done. <laughs> I mean, I keep right. telling everybody's like, it's never been done. It has, right. what we know it has not been done before. So right. that is just a lot of what I see when I talk to people, like it, they've never even, seen it. Even, and here's the thing, like, like you could try to copycat this model and, right, and right. there's always a number two that comes along and tries to compete. Right. Um, right. You know, and, 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 but you know, how, you know, like you know, even Netflix has Hulu, you know, Uber yeah. has, and it, there, there will be someone who tries to come along, but the brilliance right. in this model is that the, the, the stock incentives, the ability to buy stock at a 20% discount with 5% of your commission over 10 years, that's a huge deal to me. Um, no for agents, I think that's a, um, that don't save. I mean, Braden, he's 20 years old. He was sitting on my couch in here the other day and was talking about the stock. And, you know, he, he don't know nothing about stock. He's 20 years old. Right. And, and <laughs> just doing the math on that. And he was like, so, if, you know, so if I do this much in GCI, I have to buy this yeah. much stock. And he's like, and then the three years I could sell it. And I said, yeah. I said, he was like, well, what's the stock going to be worth? I said, well, nobody knows what the stock's going to be worth. I said, okay, absolutely. Okay. Go up, it could go down. But, that, you know, that's, that's how all stock works. But, right. you know, so he, he was getting it though. Like, you know, like, man, you know, cause he's probably like me, he's going to spend most of his money back in his big <laughs> right. you know, right. That's what I did. And, um, you know, I invested some in some places at 20 something rental properties that were definitely um, not passive. Right. Uh, at all. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, it's a great opportunity. And then, you know, the, you know, the red share component, you know, again, you know, if, if you're looking at this and you haven't, you know, you haven't really dug in, a lot of people think they know the model. And yeah. I would just challenge you to say, okay, you, you you think you know the model. You need to watch the webinar. And I know, James, you got a, a link that you can post in the comments yeah, here absolutely. Um, to watch the 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 really the detailed, you know, you know, this is how I look at it. It's like 45 minutes long, I think. But it's it, you know, if you're gonna invest 10 years, 20 years of your life doing something and you're not willing yeah. to invest 45 minutes to really truly understand the model and what comes with um, you know, what all comes with this opportunity and really understand it, then you know, you're probably not gonna be in the business that long anyway. So yeah. Um, it's worth the investment of time um, to do that, in my opinion. And then, you know, that, you know, we see it and how we see helping you um, is an important part. The things that we can do to help everybody. And because we're in alignment, yeah. um, we can help, you know, with uh, a lot of the people that that you're going to bring on. We're going to help you with, um, you know, training them and helping them with building their business, too. So yeah. um, pretty fun, pretty fun opportunity. And what's yeah. most exciting to me is I didn't know it was 2010. Um, yeah. 2010. I, I went through. I don't know what I was doing, but I was looking. Oh no, I know what it was. I was. Um, I was watching some video. We had a, a um, all of our videos we had stored in Wistia, but we have. I mean, literally hundred. It's thousands and thousands of hours of footage of yeah. video over the years. And so I was in 2010, and I was looking at EGS, and I was in it, and they were panning through, and they were, you know, everybody had name tags on. And I was yeah. seeing all the different people that were there. I was like, oh man, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. It was a pretty small event. Curtis yeah. John there yeah um, Jeff Williams um, yep. uh, there's just a, you know a lot of the heavy hitters again you know uh, back then if I would have thought you know hey are we all we're all gonna be owners of a company together right. and we're all gonna be working on building something together you know that yeah. would have been like the perfect opportunity but it didn't exist until no. now but now that it's no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be partnered with you and happy to help you build uh, not just Houston but build you know wherever you know Virginia wherever it is that yeah. you have agents that you want to um, help build and grow. And um, obviously, you yeah. got the model, you know, with the technology and the things that they bring to the table, the additional training and um, yeah, yeah, the win win for everybody. No doubt. No doubt, man. I'm excited. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like having a big EGS all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, almost, you know, all those guys are, you know, a lot of us are, are, are you know, with EXP now. And right. So, and I, don't, I don't have to manage putting on big events. <laughs> right. So I'm much easier. That. Absolutely. Right. It was fun. It was fun. But much like that, to me, Glenn is taking it's the same thing. You know, he he because you guys changed my mindset. And I know I'm not the only one uh, when yep. we go to EGS and be around all these heavy hitters. And then you look at what Glenn's doing and he's like, 
You know, and yeah. look at what he's doing. It's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> right. wow. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's really been rejuvenating to be able to go out and just talk and and and, uh, and and share, you know, what we're doing and how it works. And you know, I don't beat anybody over the head with it. You know, some people are gonna get it, some people won't. Yep. Uh, and eventually, I think a lot of people are, you know, they're gonna much like a lot of us now are saying, I wish you would have done it a couple of years ago. But the beauty is, you know, it's still early. You know, we're still early. we're so just so so just scratching the surface right now. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to to the future and and uh, and just continue to to, to see how yeah. things just grow because it's gonna it's coming it's yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't world. stop it. You can't yeah. stop it. What it do? No, no, no doubt. But yeah, James, appreciate you, man. And uh, um, thank you, Jay. Appreciate you guys, man. Um, Mike, too. Like I said, you guys kind of got my mindset. So I, I guess I told Mike the other day, man. The one thing you guys did was you got my met my mind to just like start thinking much bigger, much bigger. Right. Uh, right. And now Glenn, Glenn has done the same thing then, yeah. you know? He's done the same thing. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah it, you know, I scratch my head when I, you know, when I when I look at how he came up with this and put it all together, like yeah. there's, you, you know, there's certain little things like that everything just kind of clicked into place. Like, yeah. man, you know this thing. Yeah. This thing is, it's perfect. You can't, it you can't is. penetrate it. Just yeah, it's, it's as perfect as it can be. You know, right. I mean, we have some. It's just we can't get, and it doesn't matter what world would you go to. I mean, there's going right. to be issues. I tell people, you're going to sell real estate anyway. What is the downside? Right. You're going to sell real estate if you're going to do this. You know, if this is what you want to do, what doesn't matter what brokerage you're at, um, you have that extra component. It's just like, uh, right. again, I don't beat anybody over the head, but I'm passionate when I talk to people like that. It's either you, do it, or you, do it. <laughs> you can put your blinders on. I don't right. see it. Like, yeah. uh, it doesn't sound good to me. Uh, it sounds like it's not not going to be good. No. Yeah. So you either see or you don't. And uh, we're, you know, yeah. we're looking. You know, Brent Go says something I love. He says, "I'm looking for people who are looking for me." And right. um, yeah. and yeah. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, and that's that's how I'm wired. I mean, shoot, I've been in this company almost a year now. This November first mm -hmm. will be a year. And um, uh, you can go watch my very first. You go watch my very first Facebook live that I, I did when I announced. Yeah. A year and you listen to me on this on this today, one yeah. year later, and I, I've never done anything where I've been this excited for this long. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I'm, right. I'm, ex I'm fired up about EXP and yeah. I'm fired up about this company and where it's going and just being able to contribute and be a part of it. So, um, you know, you know, those are all things, things that should be getting people thinking. No it's doubt. So hopefully this is valuable um, yeah. for everybody. That's watched. Thank you for listening in. See a lot of yeah. good things. They jumped yeah. in here. Anything else? Um, anything else you want to leave them with? No, man. You know, if uh, somebody's got questions, uh, cause I'm in the Houston area. Um, I just help people kind of get out of your comfort zone. So I teach. I teach a spin class, right? And so I always tell people, you want to see some change, you got to get out of your comfort zone, because mm -hmm. people are in their comfort zone. I get it. I was there too. But when I saw this, I got out of my comfort zone real quick. Um, start looking at the long term and the the opportunity with uh, with the XP. So if anybody's just got questions, man, I'm I'm, I'm here. You can message me, um, but I'll put a link down there in the uh, in the link in the uh, box there. And so if somebody wants to reach out to me, be glad to give you guys any information I can provide, man. But uh, thank you guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate you, James. Have a great day. And all right, man. All right, you too. All right. Take care. Bye.